Twas the night before Christmas. And all through the house. The spirits were stirring, awaiting the douse. The trip wire was hung on the railing with care. In hopes that the spirits soon would be there. The ram pod alerting with the color of red. Investigators successful in talking to the dead. Us with the tascom as ghosts start to yap. While the SLS camera then started to map. When out of the oval us arose such a clatter. Team members eager to join in the chatter. Away to the cases we flew in a flash. To gather more devices from our personal stash. With ghosts on the cameras beginning to show. The flur recorded an interesting glow. Then what to our delight then would appear. But a stick figure anomaly, showing no fear. The spirit box set on a skin low to quick. We knew in an instant that it wasn't a trick. More rapid than fire the messages came. As they whispered and shouted and called us by name. With periscope active the lantern kicked in. While ghost bumps arose all over our skin. From the top of the ceiling to bottom of the wall. Shadow figures appeared, big, short, and tall. As a smoky mist did swirl and fly. Orbs on camera took to the sky. So across the room the courses they flew. Seen by investigators in an empathy or two. Skeptics will wonder and demand to see proof. Should we convince them it wasn't a spoof? As the music box sounded and I turned around. There was a spirit, appearing low to the ground. He looked all gray from his head to his foot. Eerie for sure but not staying put. First disappearing then coming back. With a wide brim hat in a tattered pack. He wasn't too big or small like a fairy. We knew he was harmless, but still it was scary. His form distorted, his eyes all aglow. When a chill in the air then started to blow. Under his coat and seen beneath. We spied a belt with a scabbard sheath. A scent emerged, the odor was smelly. Strong in nature and certainly welly. Might not have believed it, had I not seen it myself. He was large, cold, and misty, and stealth. With a sinister grin and nod of his head. We immediate knew he was certainly dead. He spoke not a word as we attended our work. Just staying daunting, he continued to lurk. Our inquiry now, drawing to close. The flux continued with its yes and no's. We heard in real time what sounded like a whistle. That made our spine tingle and all our hairs bristle. Until our next meeting, we wish you insight. Happy haunting to all, and to all a good fright.